So high mode and carriage return are all based off the auto skip cams on top of the bore welder. So you have these cams that originally were designed to jump the detent in the cams. Then we realized that we could weld back and forth inside the cams from 0 to 180 degrees, and that was great for welding out of round bores or fixing out of round bores. It allows us to stay in the bad section and weave back and forth and fix that section of the bore. The challenge is if you're welding in the horizontal axis and the out of round section ends up on the 9 o'clock or the 3 o'clock position of the bore, pi mode's really not so great because you have a vertical up bead which is tall and narrow followed by a wide flat downhill bead and then a narrow tall uphill bead. There's nothing to support the uphill bead. So carriage return was developed. Um, the reason it's called carriage return is because of typewriters which is actually kind of old school, right? So you weld, 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 and then it runs back to the original starting point while stepping, and then it welds in the direction that it originally did. So you have a vertical up, vertical up, vertical up, or vertical down, vertical down, vertical down, depending on which direction you put the, rota the uh, rotation of the bore welder in. So great, great uh, function, and the only, one, only machine that does that is the BW3.